Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and visiting with me. Today I'm going to be doing an update flip through on my December album. I decided not to do a December daily. I've already mentioned that. Um, and honestly, you guys, I am loving the way this album is coming about. Um, yeah, I think it's one of my cleanest album with little uh, embellishments. I don't want to say it's minimalist because it, some people will still consider <laughs> that it has a lot, but I feel like it's minimalist for me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the flip through. It's not 100% done. Um, I shared uh, some of this, the cover already and how simple and easy that was to create. Um, and I've talked about the felt. Um, I just got pocket pages that I ordered from scrapbook.com. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I've went ahead and added some of my pictures already. And I started off with the main, um, the introduction to this album is our Christmas tree. And then here in the pocket page, I just have my children's pictures because in reality they put this christmas tree together um, i was just kind of hanging around seeing what they were doing my husband's the one that put the pieces together uh, we do have an artificial tree kind of gathered everything for the kids and then the kids are the ones that uh, honestly put it together this year and i just have pictures of them working together i don't know if you guys can see that kind of hard I know um, let me see if I could zoom you guys in see a little bit of those pictures there I love having these pocket pages because it just has so much room for for multiple pictures you know what I mean so anyway so that's this right here and then over here, the back of this pocket page just has a lot of uh, pictures of my kids decorating Christmas cookies. Um, and this is before we get started. And then here is just a picture of the cookies before they were decorated. And then all of us with our cookies and in here for the first time you guys I've actually taken the time to type up the journaling I think it makes it look again so much cleaner and in here I just talk about how our cookie decorating day ended up being into like a competition see who had the best decoration and my daughter's the one that won and you guys can see um, her little snowman she used the leaves from the um, holly leaves to make the angry um, eyebrows and then she flipped two candy canes upside down to make them angry and give them like an angry smile and yeah very creative so she definitely won and I uh, just journaled a little bit about that uh, and then here um, I just wanted to take a picture of some of my favorite decorations this year and in here is going to be our wreath i'm going to do either a six by eight or something smaller like a five by seven uh, photo of our wreath that's hanging on our front door and that's going to be the picture that goes here but again some of that uh, clean journaling here especially because I was not liking my handwriting um, so just added that here I have not added any pictures but I did do uh, with some of the stickers I had the joy of Christmas is family so the plan is to get a picture of all of us with uh, Santa hats on so it's gonna be Mike me little Mike and Adriana um and yeah just take like selfies with santa hats on basically i haven't done that yet uh, but that's why these are empty waiting for that here i'm gonna journal a little bit about how my kids basically we were running errands that day just me and the kids 
and we had to go to the bank we had to go pick up something from the cleaners my son's uniform from the cleaners and they were like okay while we're in there can we also get snacks you know because it's like Lowe's grocery store and I was like yeah sure um, you guys are paying for it <laughs> and they're like yeah because they had their own money because again we were going to go to the bank to deposit what they had saved throughout the year anyways I saw this bags here of gifting it's um friends feeding friends and they're like what is that and so um i was like oh you know you gather groceries and then the store donates it for for families in need or whatnot and they were like oh can we do it and i, I was like yeah sure of course and so i'm gonna type up um, the journaling in here but that's gonna go here with the picture of the bag and then um, over here I have um, so here I'm just talking about um, this little DIY craft that I put together but in here there's gonna be like another little piece separately that I DIY while my daughter was helping me but we basically put this together let me show you because i honestly have not developed a bunch of these pictures and i need to get my butt working on it but you see this it's like a centerpiece for our kitchen table it looks like that and my daughter helped me diy it and then these are just um some corn pine cones i was going to say some cones but pine cones candles that we found and so yeah so that's gonna go right here and then maybe I'm not gonna journal because this is most of the journaling about crafting and DIYing it so I'm just gonna put like the big picture and then a little picture down here so that's the idea for that then these next couple pages you guys is about our day that we did some um, nutcracker painting so uh, I wanted to do some of that too as well. Just kind of do like inexpensive Christmas um, activities that we could do as a family. So here is just us putting together like a cheese tray with desserts and things like that. And then here are our final results of our nutcrackers. And then my daughter, she ended up putting hers next to her nightstand, which looks adorable. And as you can see, it's like the black in pink which she loved then while we were uh painting our nutcrackers i don't know how it came about it but uh my husband's been on a kick in showing like old movies um to the kids like i'm talking like old movies you guys so here is adriana watching the original um, predator that came out in 1987 and she's like whoa like what the heck um and then um let's see oh this one is super funny well me i thought it was super funny like there's arnold schwarzenegger and then i don't know if you could read the subtitles but it says like low growl you know because I'm sure the predator was like somewhere in there looking for him in the forest and look at Adriana like scared like what the heck I was like oh honey you're too cute um and then here are just some pictures of us doing our painting uh and then here for this layout, I still have to journal right here. So I haven't done that yet. Um, honestly, you guys, that takes time to actually sit in a computer and like make sure you, all your journaling is squared away. It takes time, but like I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so here is just um, the introduction into the pictures. It says all of us fit together like puzzle pieces and it's my daughter with our finished puzzle this is a 500 piece puzzle um and here are my husband and my children putting it together it took us you guys it took us like two and a half days to finish it and we finished it without michael because mike was on duty and i think he did 48 hours straight because he had um 
uh, changed his shifts so he was going to be gone from the house like two days in a row and so we finished it without him but um that's them working on it and then here it's like you could see the table like all the pieces everywhere and so i just took a picture of that and that basically is this layout and then as you turn it i haven't done the journaling but this is grandpa so this is my husband's dad and he um was asked to be the santa for the gun club and i just thought it's so funny i thought like i would never see the day when he would be uh, dressed as santa claus but um so i just wanted to journal a little bit about that so that's why this space is empty and then for the bottom um the a fire truck with the santa standing on the top came around the neighborhood and they were handing out like little snacks and uh, gifts for the all the kids and i just thought it was so cool that you know they got together to do this and bring some cheer um for everybody in the neighborhood i just thought it was super cool so that's just two pictures because honestly it was dark <sighs> and i don't know how to take good pictures at night <laughs> Okay, and then here is the introduction to what's going to be the next um, couple of pages. And actually, this is the last page that I have done. All of these just came in like yesterday. And I have been sitting here putting the paper in order. But as you can see, I haven't sewn around any of it and I just wanted to point that out so that you guys could see the difference like just a little bit of accent of sewing uh, makes such a big difference so all of these in case you didn't notice or paid attention are sewn and because these pocket pages just arrived um, they're not so honestly I'm probably going to do that for the next couple of days but this is going to be the introduction to our uh event which was that we went up to north carolina to a botanical garden and the reason we went up to north carolina was because i tried to find something local and everything was sold out um, you couldn't get any tickets for the zoo or for the places here where you could go and see christmas lights so I asked my husband if we could just drive up there and he was like yeah and I was like you could count that as my Christmas gift you know as part of my Christmas gift to go do that activity since it usually takes up all day you know to to do that kind of stuff and he was like yeah no worries so this is a postcard of what the garden looks like we went to um, Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden and this is just a postcard that I picked up. I have it right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to add that here. I probably will, but I just haven't decided how I'm going to do that. Because there's so many pictures. Um, and I don't know if I just want to put them all in here and put some in here. I have no idea how I'm going to work it. But um, anyways, we went to the Botanical Garden for the light show and i just put what it looks like in the daytime and then here i'm just gonna put maybe like a, like a picture of all of us um, down here and then this like again just is empty for more pages i mean for more pictures waiting for pictures and then these pages again are not sewn so the first thing i did was put my pages in the order that I wanted, and then I went through the paper pad, seeing what kind of uh, scraps of paper I still had left, and I put them in the order that I thought complemented each other. So first thing is set your pocket pages in the order that you want them, and then work on the paper that complement each other. So this is what i've put together so far and more than likely this pocket page is going to change um because i have to see what kind of accents i can add um and again i love these pocket pages they're my favorite and i love putting a lot of small pictures in here 
I just think it holds so much. Um, so that one's the pocket page. And then this is the back of that. And then these are the ears and you guys can see look how what a difference sewing versus not sewing it makes you see just get it like that this is the little decoration piece i did you guys remember and then here's another pocket page and then here is my last page and that is all that i have done so far you guys i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i'm gonna let you guys go here because i am going to go edit some videos so that i can finally upload one up for you guys um and then i'm gonna get to sewing i have like so all of these basically to sew and if you guys know i do everything by hand so this is gonna honestly take me a while. So I'm either gonna put in a movie or go edit videos and then while it's doing its thing, then try to find the time to hand sew. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> I know I already said goodbye to you guys, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoy and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.